quick tutorial video on Moondog Labs Anamorphic Lens 1.3. I'm going to show you how to fix your pictures using the app called Pick Tools from the App Store. And this is for Android. Now, usually iPhones make a case for their anamorphic lens. I don't have one, but there's a different this case is what I use, which is not a case. <laughs> it's a big contraption, but this allows me to put the phone on it. I'm not going to demonstrate that here because this is a tutorial on how to fix the photo, but you get the idea. The lens goes on here like this. The phone goes in there, and then you take your photographs. Now, the issue is there's not many explanations on how to get the picture to the right size so I'm going to show you how to do that exactly now you can see the element how it's anamorphic so it means that your picture comes out I might put the picture right here it's not right so you need to readjust it resize it now iPhone makes it easier with their apps but if you're just an Android user like I am I'm going to show you how to use this app real quickly and let's get into it all right, so after you install Pick Tools, which is free to use, now I know there's ads on it, um, you're going to open it up, and what you want to do, because they, they don't show you this in too many places, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're going to go to Resize PX, so that's what you want to hit. So let's go Resize PX, right? From here, you're going to do Pick an Image. So you're going to go to your image that you took with your lens, right? Go to your image, and I set the lens right here. Go to your image, pick an image. Now, you can use any of these, but what I like to do is just go into the Explorer. This example, I'm going to show you this image, so let's grab that. This is one that I took with the anamorphic lens right here. Okay, so now it doesn't show it to you on the screen, but it's there. So this is what I had a problem trying to figure out, is how to adjust these numbers here. And then the first thing you want to do, which they don't show you, is you want to... You want to see how it's blue? You want to tap that so that it's gray. All right, so that's what I didn't know. So let's uh, tap on that so that it's gray. Okay, so now it's gray. So you're unlinking that part. And you don't want to change that number. The number you want to change is this number right here. And the number you want to use is 4341, okay? Now, how do I know that? I already tested it out, and I know that's the number that will work. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in that number right now. So... 41 okay so you can see now 43 41 by 18 by 36 okay so you're going to hit done okay now you got your right size and you want to go to continue so let's continue i was going to process your image right so it's done it's finished now let's look at the results okay so now here are the results so it's going to show you on top what it looked like before and then what it looks like after so let me show you the the first one you see how that looks all elongated that's the way it comes out that's the original image now let's go back and then let's look at how it's now resized okay so there you go I'm going to put the image on the screen now, so that now that is the perfect size. That's what you need, and it's done. You're all set. And then on the top, you can just download that and save it to wherever you need it to. You can post it if you want to share it. Very easy to use, and it's free. All right, guys, let me know if you found this video valuable. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the lens. Do you use the anamorphic lens? I think it's a nice little lens if you're looking for a widescreen option. And, hey, by, you, by the way, you can do video with this. So it's very nice. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, looking forward to your comments. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, please share the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.